Good morning everyone and welcome once again to Wacky Wednesday. Yes, it's story time once again. So sit back and relax. Long, long ago, in storyland, where most stories happen, there lived a king in a big, beautiful palace with lots of luxurious things, with many, many talented wives and lots of beautiful happy children, beautiful big gardens with lots of beautiful flowers and their fragrant wafting all around. But all this didn't make the king happy. The king was always sad. Yes, the court jester came every day and did his funny tricks, but it wouldn't cheer the king. Every weekend, the queens arrange great comedy shows, but the king was still sad. Of course, in front of his court, he did put up a smiley face like we do on our selfies on FB. But inside, deep in his heart, was this grey, grey cloud enveloping his heart. So one day, as he was sitting in his balcony, watching the beautiful blue sky, wondering why his heart is always shrouded in grey, he heard the pitter-patter of little steps. In came his little child, dancing and giggling with a bubble maker in his hand. He opened the bubble maker and blew lots and lots of rainbow bubbles. He popped them and he laughed and he was dancing as he did that. Without him knowing, a smile popped on the king's face. The happiness traveled to his heart. It just through the gloom of a the king was a child again. He joined his son and together they danced. Together they blew the bubbles. Together they popped each bubble and laughed while they did it. Yes, the king was happy again. Small little innocent things, little joys and little things, wonderment in everything. That's the hallmark of a child. Most of us become old not because we age. We become old because we are not children again. So do get in touch with the child in you. Tell me, when was the last time you saw your reflection in a raindrop hanging on your windowsill? When was the last time you jumped in a rain puddle with your child? Or maybe without your child? When was the last time you looked at the clouds and found different shapes. When was the last time you played with the waves? When was the last time you ran on the grass and let the grass blade tickle your toes? When was the last time you let sand fall through your hands? Little joys, all for free. Nature has spread all of around us to make us happy. But are we even mindful? And before we know, we don't even see them. So nature makes us parents. It brings childhood right back into our homes. But that time we are too busy either disciplining them or chasing our careers such that we don't even see them. We lose out on our second chance with childhood. But nature is optimist. And so we get a third chance. We are grandparents. And by this time, if we have not lost the sprint in our stride, if we are not too dependent on drugs, we are happy, funny grandparents, we can enjoy our childhood once again. So dear friends, join in the fun with your kids. Get in touch with the child in you. Let your hair loose. Kick off your shoes and jump with them and play with the waves. Run on the grass, catch the wind. Do all those things that make you laugh, that make the child in you come alive. Believe me, you won't need Botox. You won't need facelift. You'll just be happy. You'll just be healthy. Believe me. So if, let's say, your children are grown up and they are overseas and it's a long time to be grandparents, then volunteer. Volunteer in a kindergarten. Volunteer 
for special need kids who are always so loving and full of cheer. Yes, volunteer in a young childhood education program. I have a patient of mine called Priya. She's a kindergarten teacher and I think that's the best job to be in. She had a little child the other day who came to her and said, Miss Priya, it's night. Yes, you close your eyes, it's night. You open your eyes and it is daylight. Isn't it funny? Isn't it good? Isn't it great? I have a patient of mine who has this little girl. She is an angel. Era is her name. Era's dad told me, Era plays Dr. Priya, Dr. Priya at home. And at the end of it, she puts a sticker on her parents' hands and says, you have got the sticker. Now you're going to get well. Yes, it's not the medicines. It's not the healthy diet. It is this laughter, this innocence, and this touch with the child in you that is going to make you healthy ever, ever again. Thank you.